America's reputation was on the line. The Soviet Union launched not one, but two satellites into orbit. People knew that we were really far behind in the space race. It got to the point where people were saying that there's only one country in the space race. It's the Soviet Union. It's not even a race at all. My name is George D. Morgan. The book I wrote is about my mother. It's entitled Rocket Girl, the story of Mary Sherman Morgan, America's first female rocket scientist. One day, we opened our newspaper and discovered that the Soviet Union had launched Sputnik into orbit. People were really shocked because we just assumed that we were the technologically superior country in the world. But it didn't uh, shock Werner von Braun. He had this rocket that had been designed by himself and his German expatriates called the Redstone rocket. He and his fellow German scientists, now American naturalized citizen scientists, discovered that the rocket was not quite powerful enough to reach orbit. So they needed to replace their fuel and oxidizer with something that was more powerful. So they gave a contract to North American Aviation who had built the booster for the Redstone. And North American Aviation, when they got this contract, they gave it to their best rocket propellant expert, which at the time happened to be my mother, Mary Sherman Morgan. When she was hired, there were 900 employees doing engineering work, and she was the only woman on the engineering floor. She was assigned to designing rocket propellants, especially new and exotic rocket propellants. She didn't have any education in it, and eventually she got to the point where she was so good at it that she soon became the very best person when it came to designing and calculating new rocket propellants. And eventually came up with this cocktail they sent a tank car of it to Cape Canaveral and uh, Explorer 1, America's first satellite, went into orbit a few days later. The page one spread in newspapers all over the world. You know, she really did not care about celebrity or being famous. In fact, she was just the opposite of Werner von Braun. My mother had done such a good job of erasing herself from existence by not allowing anybody to write about her, not allowing anybody to do anything that might make her famous. She was so good at preventing that from happening that after she passed away, nobody could verify that she ever even existed. And I hope that she will be remembered as a pioneer in this idea that a woman could work in high technology fields, have a family, they could do both, and they could be successful at both.